If you're looking to start a live stream, you can totally start with just your smartphone, but if you wanna stand out, you're definitely gonna to wanna to level up some of your equipment. So that's why in this video, I'll be talking about the best equipment that you need to get started live streaming so that you could stand out from everybody else. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukori with Think Media, and this video is sponsored by StreamYard, and I'll talk about them in just a second because the first thing you're gonna need is a computer or laptop. Now, whether you're a PC or Mac person, I would just encourage you to get a nice, reliable computer system. I personally like using my uh, Mac Mini with the M1 chip. But for the most part, with this equipment checklist, you're not necessarily gonna need a super powerful computer. The next thing you're gonna want is an audio solution. And I think you just need to make a decision whether you wanna see a mic in your shot or not see a mic. So right now I have a mic boomed right out of the shot. And you can actually set up a mic to do this for your live streams. And it's very inexpensive. You can actually plug in a very cheap mic and we'll post links down to everything I'm talking about down in the description below. But I, as of late, like using the Deity D4 Mini, which is a $50 mic, and I just run a mic cord into my computer, and it's kind of like this hands-free, you know, invisible mic, but captures really good audio when I'm conducting a live stream. Now, you may want a USB mic, which you can get for fairly inexpensive, and one we like is the Samson Q2U, or if you wanna level it up just a little bit, you can get the Shure MV7 which is a great looking mic as well. That's a USB mic and you can plug it right into your computer or laptop. Both the Q2U and Shure MV7 are dynamic microphones, meaning that they do have to be in the shot and they actually produce both a rich kind of radio podcast sound uh, that a lot of people are going for. But because they're dynamic mics, you want them in the shot right next to your mouth. But both are great solutions, but if you like the solution that I use because you don't wanna see a mic, but you want it to still sound good, it'll work just as good. The next thing you're gonna need is a camera, and you may want a webcam, or you may wanna turn a camera you already have into a webcam. Uh, just to be straight up with you, if you're gonna go webcam, just go Logitech Brio. It's a great looking webcam and you can plug it right into your computer or laptop with a USB and be ready to go. However, if you want that blurry background look, you could totally use a camera you already use, whether that's using the USB port that's in your camera or using the HDMI out port that's in your camera and then plugging the HDMI cable into a capture card, which you can inexpensively buy for around $25. And again, links to everything that I'm recommending down in the description below. But plugging this into your computer will get you potentially the highest quality possible when it comes to getting a blurry background and clear image for a live stream or even a video conference call. We made a lot of videos on this channel when it comes to using your Canon or Sony camera as a webcam, and so I don't wanna go too deep into how to do that in this video. Just know that you can use a camera as your webcam, and one accessory you may wanna look into outside of what I just mentioned is a continuous power adapter. You don't want your camera to die midstream, and so having one of those can really save you uh, from your camera going to sleep and or shutting off. Now everything that I've mentioned up to this point falls under hardware. These are things that are actually like physical things that you'll need in order to live stream. However, when you're gonna conduct your live stream, uh, you're gonna want some software in order to do it because if you just hit go live on whatever platform you wanna live stream on, you're gonna lose your capabilities to look professional in the sense of adding things like thirds or maybe you wanna do a, you know an interview or maybe you wanna add like your intro to your live stream or showcase something else like slides or something like that. You're gonna want some software and that brings the perfect segue to talk about our sponsor which is StreamYard. And StreamYard is a web-based software that you can use to live stream. And honestly, StreamYard is what we use to live stream here on Think Media and our Think Media podcast, as well as our private Facebook groups with our students and communities. StreamYard just makes it so easy to be able to bring on a guest and conduct an interview, and then also transition between your guests or even your slideshow or PowerPoint while you're doing a teaching, as well as being able to brand your live stream with backgrounds and your logo and things like that. StreamYard hands down is one of the best tools that you can use to actually live stream also to multiple locations at one time. So you can actually hit live and go live on your YouTube channel as well as on Facebook and things like that. And so if you wanna check out StreamYard yourself, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. And one thing that StreamYard just added that I am super pumped about is actually what is called hotkeys. 
This allows you that at a push of a button that you can command something to happen while you're conducting a live stream. And so if you wanna change the look of something, you can actually tell a key on your keyboard to do it. But you wanna know what's better than using your keyboard to do it is using what is called an Elgato Stream Deck. This is a customizable device that you can you know, program the buttons on this device to do whatever you want. And now it works right with StreamYard. It's super simple to set up. All you gotta do is download the StreamYard pack, open the configurations of the Stream Deck, double click StreamYard, and then it loads it in right away. But actually what's cool about the Stream Deck is you can customize the look to your buttons and change what happens once it's on and toggled. Uh, but more than anything, when you're live streaming and you have the ease of your peripherals and the you know your fingers on a button and then things happen when you push buttons, it makes it super easy to make your live streams look super professional. I hope you got value in this video. And if you did, hit that like button for me. And if you actually wanna check out my 10 tips for live streaming, I think these are tips that'll help you before you conduct your first live stream and tips that'll actually level up the current live streams that you are doing, then click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.